perfect. All right, so I know this isn't my normal like background or whatever like that, and that's okay because we're making a couple changes here over on this channel, over on this channel as if I have two channels. I need to just start doing things, and sometimes I get sidetracked so much with like everything that's going on that I just kind of get discouraged and I'm like, Ugh, I'll do it later, and then later never becomes now. And lately I've been working on this path of starting it now. Uh, just putting out tutorials and actually really doing it. Um, and not delaying myself. So if you see this background in my videos, just know I have kids. I can't always be in the dining room because there's kids, they're making noise, and then you really won't be able to hear anything that I'm saying. So just appreciate what I'm giving you, gosh damn it. You're welcome. Faith, welcome back to Badass Edible Art. I'm Jelena, and I'm gonna teach you guys how I made this cute, adorable llama tapa. Enjoy. So I made this llama tapa, ugh. I made this llama topper using half and half, half modeling chocolate and half fondant. I'm using Wilton fondant if anybody wants to know and I made my own modeling chocolate using chocolate melt from Wilton. No, they're not sponsoring this, but if anybody's out there that, you know, Wilton CEO, hit me up. I use your products 24 seven. I would love to be sponsored. Knead it all together. And I started making this odd, weird looking shape. If I'm making this shape where I leave part of it bulky round and the other part long. So it kind of looks a little crazy. Um, but just know there's, there's a method to my madness, okay? Um, and you can see how I'm doing it. I kept everything to be one piece. If you want your pieces to be two pieces, that's totally up to you. But I wanted to keep it to one piece. So I smoothed the neck out really long and then I bent part of the neck down and this part will be the head of the topper, right? Hey girl. Pull that part down and do it nice and gently because modeling chocolate, the more you touch it, touch it and fuss with it with your hands, the more you make it melt because the warmth of your hands is making chocolate melt. Chocolate melt, not milk. Yeah, so I grabbed a dowel and I cut it down to the size that I needed and I just gently twisted that up into the llama from the bottom to the top and I made it go up to the neck part um, and then I left that alone so that way the dowel can kind of dry inside of it. So once my topper was able to dry, semi-dry, it was still like I could still push it and mess with it and mold it back to it like mush, but I needed it to stiffen and not be so soft anymore from my warmth of my hand. So I added some feet onto the topper and I didn't use any water for adhesive because sometimes model, the thing about modeling chocolate is water can be its worst enemy. So I just went ahead and used the warmth from my hands from molding the feet and attaching it on. And then using a tool from Sugarworks. If you guys don't know, Innovative Sugarworks, they hooked me up with some great tools. And down below in the description, you can get a coupon code for 10% off on their website for purchasing any of their tools. And you can also see that coupon code right here. But I'll link their website down below. It's more cake 10, 10% 10 off. So that's the tools I'm using. I'm using their Sugar Weight, Sugarworks Sugar Shapers. You guys might have seen me do a review on their product. You can go and check that out, the link below, or probably the eye at the top corner of wherever. Then, once I get the feet smoothed out and attached on, I then take another one of their shapers, and it's like the pointy one, right? And I start push, start from the bottom of the llama, and I start pushing lines down, and that's serving the hair. That all over the llama from the feet, not the very tip of the feet though, because I left those for the hooves, you know, the hooves, I think they're called hooves. Um, and then I, so I did the, so basically I did the legs and then I did the bottom part of the llama and then I did the back side of the llama and then I went all the way up to the neck side of the llama, reached up to the ears all the way towards the head of the llama and I stopped right where like the eyes would sit and the mouth for the llama would sit so none of that would have hair. So I did that and it started to come together perfectly. I don't know why I stopped. But it started to come together perfectly and I was actually really, really happy with this part. I made some eyes for my llama and it was occult, okay? It was occult. The eyes was just like this upside down 
is it a sad face? No, it's a happy face. Like, it's a smiley face eye, right? And then I put some lashes on. So she could be party and everything because, you know, she's a llama, mind her business. She's cute. You know, because that's just... I made her after me. It's my own little llama, Jelena. So I did little eyes with little eyelashes and I thought, she's looking adorable. And don't forget, I didn't mention like, yeah, attach the ears at the same time you attach the feet, right? So attach the ears and I just attached one ear. Because this is a two dimensional llama, you don't see the second ear. So I'm, I was okay with that. You so once I had that, I let her sit aside and dry. I wanted her to dry, like dry. So I, I let her sit overnight and dry on a piece of parchment paper. And then once she was nice and dry, the next day, I was able to stand her up in a piece of styrofoam. And my girl was a little bit naked, so we had to make her some clothes, okay? So I made like this cute little like you know, cloth to hang over her back for when people wanna like hop on top and just ride her up the mountain. This is starting to sound a little weird. And then I made her like this pretty necklace, but really it was like her, you know, the, what do you call them? The straps that you hold on to the llama, like would you hold on to a horse, you know, to like let the horse keep going. So yeah, so I made her some straps, but we gonna call it a necklace. And I, all of this was like made out of fondant. So I wanted it to be super colorful and party looking because a llama at a party is a party. You know what I mean? I just use a flower cutter to cut out all these flowers. You can use a flower cutter. You can make little balls. You know what I mean? They don't have to be necessarily what I made. But make your decoration speak to your llama. I was super excited for this when after I like stepped away from her and looked at her. How cute is my llama? Just so cute. She's so cute. And the last thing I did is I went and put the tail on her, right? Because at first I forgot the tail. And then I was like, I feel like she's missing something. Her tail. I put the tail on her. Oh my god. Can we say adorable? It she just like bloomed and came to life. And she's perfect. She's my little Jelena llama, and I'm so proud. <laughs> Mama proud. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know I didn't mention everything got attached, like all the decorations got attached, just using water. No biggie, it was super simple. I didn't have to like add anything extra. And then I just let her sit overnight again so everything else can be nice and stiff so I can use her on a cake. And I'm excited to use her on a cake. I haven't decided which cake I'm gonna make, but I'm pretty sure pretty soon I'll make a cake with the llama on it and she's gonna be cute. So anyways, Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Make sure you check out my website for my tour dates and all my other online tutorials that I sell. And again, look out for the new changes happening. I need to hold myself accountable to making sure I actually do these tutorials. And my vlogs, oh my God. I got a vlog coming, child. I got vlogs coming. So many vlogs coming. If you don't notice the piece of jewelry on my hand yeah there's a vlog for that too anyways i'll see you guys on the next one thanks again bye